Hi, my name is Josh. This is BoxCast Tech Tips, and get ready to be mind blown because today we're talking about video cables. Specifically, what I want to get into is the difference between HDMI cabling and SDI cabling. All right, let's cue the elevator music and then I'm going to explain some things. HDMI cabling is a consumer and prosumer level connection. It's more commonly found and probably more universal for camera outputs. The signal length can be run about 50 feet, although I wouldn't trust a 50 foot signal to be 100% reliable unless it's a great quality cable. Versus SDI cabling. SDI signals also transmit uncompressed video and audio signals. There are several different standards of SDI signals you may hear, including 3G SDI, HD SDI, 6G SDI. So it can get a little more complicated um, but reach out to me if you need to understand the difference between them. Uh, the signal length can go up to roughly 300 feet, but again, make sure you buy good cabling. And uh, SDI is generally considered more professional because it usually is sent along BNC connectors which lock in. When I'm doing critical events like graduations and things that cannot go on live, I definitely use SDI cabling. So HDMI cabling can come in different types. There's mini HDMI, which is commonly used in DSLR cameras and mini camcorders. There's regular sized HDMI, which is the most basic type. There's also micro HDMI, which is typically found in devices like GoPros. Not many cameras will use it. Action cameras. <gasps> so the different types of SDI cabling to note, which is really important because you don't wanna buy something and then assume you have the right cabling for it are DIN 1.0 slash 2.3, which we like to call like mini SDI. And then there's like BNC SDI, which is preferred in production environments because it locks in. Okay, time for an experiment. Here's SDI cabling. Here's HDMI cabling. If you're absolutely stuck in a situation where your cameras can only run HDMI, you can convert that HDMI signal to Ethernet cabling. You can buy converters like the one shown here that will send the signal over an Ethernet line and then you can run it up to 350 feet and then it will convert it back to an HDMI cable. That made sense, right? I thought that was a pretty good example. Yeah. I hope that ends up being funny. If not... You're a little off center now, due to the screen, but... 